Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2021, slot 1 DILR, is based on bar graphs. It says that the horizontal bars in the below diagram represent a company's 2020 aggregate sales for the different subcategories of its products. So the bars show the sale in 2020. The top four product subcategories, bookcases, chairs, furnishing tables, belong to furniture product category. So these four are furniture. The bottom four subcategories belong to the tech product category. So these four accessories, copiers, machines and force belong to the tech category and all other subcategories belonging to the office supply product category. So these are office supply. So three categories, furniture, office and technology. For each of the product subcategories, there is a vertical line indicating the sales of corresponding subcategory in 2019. As you can see, there are some vertical lines over here. So these suggest the sale in 2019. Okay, so these are the sale figures in 2019. Okay, so for 2020, you need to read through the graph, bar graph and through the vertical line give us the sale in 2019. Okay, so based on this uh, data, we need to answer the questions. It asks the total sales in 2019 from products and office supply category is closest to. So we need to find the total sales of office categories in 2019, right? Now it is saying closest, we cannot read exact data. Like for example, if we talk about binders, this line is 3.5 and this is 4, right? Now we can, it is difficult to read the exact value. It can be 36 point uh, something, it can be 37 also, right? A bit difficult to read out. So what we will do is, since the question itself says closest to, right? Closest to means we need to find the approximate value, okay? So what we will do is, first of all, to ease our calculations, we will keep these as uh, multiples of 10. So multiply by 10 and then you can obviously uh, put a decimal point. So 36. Art, if we look at, it is close to 9, not exactly 9 maybe. And if we look at the third one, that is appliances, it is somewhere around 18. It could be 18 or 19. We do not have to debate on that. We just need to find the approximate value, right? Now, this is close to, you can call it 3. And this you can call it 1, although it looks 0 0.5, right? If you look at this, it is 0 0.005. So, as per our uh, thing we are taking at as one right 2000 uh, if you look at fastness it's very very less the vertical line almost equal to zero however we are putting one we'll put this as two right this is exactly at 1.5 so we will put at 15 right then we have storage which is somewhere let us take 44 or 43 and this is we can take 11 however it looks like 10.1.05 right it appears to be 1.5 0 0.5 less than 1.1 but for our convenience we are taking it as 11. Now let's just add these we will get 36 plus 9 45 45 plus 15 is 60 66 84 84 plus uh, this is 54 which comes out as 138 or 13.8 right our total is coming as 13.8 the closest value is 13.5. Maybe we overestimated some of the values. Maybe it could have been 42.5. Maybe it could have been uh, 1 point, uh, 10.5. Right? It could have been even lower. So, approximate value we need to look at that is 13.5. Uh, that is the answer to this. The percentage increase in sales in the furniture category from 2019 to 20 is closest to. So, furniture category is this. Now, in such questions, we can use approximation. Right? The, the te technique is about answering through observations. It does not require you to do exact calculations. Now, approximately, this has almost zero increase. Right Now, uh, if you look at this, point to increase, roughly around 10% increase. This also, we can say almost 0% increase right and this is six point something to seven right so we can say some 10 12 percent increase maybe this is one percent increase 
right so if we take the weighted average somewhere we will get around 6 to 8 percent increase right maybe we we just have to take the weighted average of these and uh, since this contains or like it would be 0.5 percent increase so weighted average we know that it's a single digit number okay it will be a single digit percentage increase so we can rule out these possibilities 20 25 percent are not possible because none of the categories is having that increase one percent looks quite low so it becomes quite obvious that the answer is going to be eight percent now in the examination you are not supposed to calculate exact eight percent but just do this kind of approximation however let us now check the actual answer that whether it is eight or if there were options which were closed let us say one was five one was eight then what would we have done in this case so now this is 19 and it becomes 22 right so uh, this value is 60 uh, 60s and 62 maybe we will take 62 and it became 70 this value was uh, 20 it became 21 okay and uh, not 20 it it became 20.5 uh, not exactly 21 but yes we will take that way and this was 44 it became 45 so what was the total sale here 81 80, 101, 145. So sale was 145 and increases of 3, 8 that is 11, 12 and 113. So 13 by 145, right? 14 into 10 is 14.5. Uh, so we are getting roughly around 9%, right? So as we said that it is approximate in nature question itself is asking closest to so you should not be breaking your head that i am getting nine percent because we are not reading the exact values and we will not be able to read exact values in such kind of graphs so you need to do approximation in this graphs and yes the answer is going to be eight percent how many subcategories had sale of rupees 4 million or more in 2019 and registered an increase in sales in excess of 25 percent in 2020 so first of all, let's draw the line as 4 million. This is the 4 million line. Okay, the category should have sale of 4 million or more. Now, if you see this, only these categories remain. And this had a loss. So these are the only four categories remain. Now, if you see these, these have very less. I mean, 25% is what? One fourth. Does this line look like one fourth of the longer part? Of course, it does not. You just don't have to use numbers. You just have to use observation. This has negligible increase, right? So it is not possible. This uh, did not have sale of 4 million in 2019. This part also looks quite less. So we can eliminate it. Only this one remains. And it does look, look like a significant number, okay, with respect to previous. So let us find this value. This will be around 58, 5.8. And this is around 77. So increase of 19. 19 by 58 which is roughly one third and is greater than 25 percent so we will have one such category which is of phones that had more than 25 percent increase the improvement index for a category is the maximum percentage increase in sales in 2019 to 20 among any of its subcategories the correct order of categories in increasing order of its improvement index is so we need to find the improvement index that means within this category what is the highest percentage increase within this category what is the highest percentage increase and within this what is the highest percentage increase now since we already attempted this uh, data for this category first right chairs will have definitely the highest percentage increase which is somewhere around 62 to 70 right so 8 by 62 which is roughly 13 percent 1 by 8 1 by 8 is 12.5 since it is uh, less than if at 64 it would have been 1 by 8 so this is roughly 13 percent okay so the first category that is uh, your uh, furniture category has 13 percent then office and this is technology okay so next if we look at office category which will have highest percentage increase now this has like it is percentage increase this category has significant increase compared to its older value but if you observe appliances right it has 
quite high significant increase. So let's say this value is around 19. Okay, it could be 18 point something and it became 31. Right. So 12 by 19, which is more than 60 percent. Okay, 12 by 18 is 66 and 12 by, uh, so we can say roughly 63 percent or 60 plus percent, right? Since we are not calculating exact 19 or exact 31, we are just approximating the answer, okay, roughly 63 percent. And last, if you look at these categories, so maybe one pro possible contender could be this, another could be this. This we calculated around uh, 33 percent, right? 19 by, we said in the previous question, 19 by 50, uh, eight right somewhere around 30s or 33 percent and this category also shows a promising like if you look at accessories it also has a promising percentage increase because the initial value was low which was 31 and it became 44 so increase of 13 by 44 okay so 44 into 3 is uh, 132 so roughly 30 percent over here also so somewhere in early 30s right or it could be like if you look at 19 by 58 that is also in 30s so somewhere around uh, 19 by 57 is one third so maybe 31 percent or less than like we can say that then these are in 30s okay? so maybe 31 32 percent is the rough value right so in this category the percentage increase is in 30s definitely not the highest right so uh, office and then tech and then furniture it's saying that increasing order so increasing order f will come first then t then o so the answer is furniture technology and office supply so this was one of the easy sets provided you know how to do approximations and just calculate approximate answers the options were far apart uh, even if you did uh, some errors in the approximations that was perfectly fine you would have got all questions right in this set.